What's going on, geeks? My name is Cody Armour, and every Friday we keep you up to date on what's happening this week in the world of geek. So let's get into it. But before we do, I do need to give a shout out to our Patreons because they are the reason this show happens. So thank you to everyone at patreon.com slash geeks on a grace. And honestly, this is going to be a pretty short show. I apologize, but it is the end of the year. So news is just kind of winding down right now. But there was one thing I definitely had to mention in gaming news because I am playing Final Fantasy 15 right now. So all of you other people who are playing that game, uh, you're in luck. Because starting December 22nd, we will get free DLC and it is a Chocobo Carnival. Yes, please. And like I said, completely free. Those who have a season pass get a little bit more, but if you just bought the game, you get this carnival ticket along with like a t-shirt for Noctis and a few other things. And then going into movie news, we have a few confirmations, first of all, of a Deadshot movie, and then Harley Quinn's movie, which we knew was going to be a thing, but is going to be the Gotham Sirens. That is Harley Quinn, Catwoman, and Poison Ivy. In that comic, uh, Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn kind of have a thing. So there's that. And I know a lot of people are excited because Suicide Squad was kind of DC's best movie so far out of everything that they've been doing. I'm gonna play the salty one here. This is not what I wanted out of Suicide Squad. See, because Suicide Squad was a really great way to introduce us to a bunch of villains all at the same time. And these villains needed to be fantastic. Like they need to be your favorite characters, but they're not supposed to go into these lead roles. They're supposed to be the bad guys. To me, it seems like you took all of these villains and then decided you're not gonna use them as villains. But who knows, maybe it's a good thing. I know a lot of people wanted Marvel to make a Loki standalone movie, and I guess this is kind of the same thing. Also with movie news, for those of you who are worried about the Assassin's Creed movie being good or not, it seems like it's getting very good reviews, specifically from fans of the video game franchise. I don't think I'm gonna get over the fact that there's subtitles. Like, it makes a ton of sense, I just don't want it to. <sighs> but, uh, I hope it's really good. I figured with Michael Fassbender, this movie's gotta be good. Oh, also, you probably already know that Star Wars Rogue One is out, but if you don't, that is a thing. It came out uh, yesterday. So yeah, there you go. As we're talking about Star Wars type stuff, we might as well talk about Star Trek type stuff because as we all know, there is a TV show that keeps getting delayed and delayed and delayed. We've talked about it in the past, but it's called Star Trek Discovery. It is going to be a TV show and a big reason they had to keep delaying it is they couldn't find their lead. And as a Walking Dead fan, I'm kind of sad to report this, but Soniqua Martin-Green, who is on The Walking Dead, uh, is going to be the lead role for Star Trek Discovery. And that doesn't necessarily mean anything for her character on The Walking Dead, but kind of implies it for sure. Side note, I think it's awesome that the lead is going to be a woman. Uh, Star Trek is all about diversity, and I can't think of any time that the lieutenant, commander, or whatever they call her, um, has been a girl. So that's cool. And the final story of the day is probably something you don't need to know, but it is a thing that is happening, and that is an Archie Comics TV show. The show is actually called Riverdale, so kind of like Smallville, I guess. The poster itself looks a bit dark, but then in the poster it also says, a great place to get away with it all. So I definitely feel like it's gonna have kind of that dark mood to it, which makes sense. It's going to be on the CW and the CW is a very uh, soap opera-y. Uh, if you don't believe me, watch Arrow. I just hope we get great crossovers like The Predator or even anyone in the Flero universe. That would be a lot of fun as well. Question of the day, Christmas is coming up and I can't think of a good question. So what do you want for Christmas? What are you hoping to get? Uh, especially geeky stuff. I, I specifically want to know what geeky stuff you're hoping to get for Christmas. Uh, please leave your comment in the comment section down below with your answer. Also make sure you check out geeksundergrace.com for more geeky content. My name is Cody Armour. Keep you up to date on what's happening this week in the world of geek every Friday. We will see you later and God bless.